Hey there, cadets. I'm going to talk about the embouchure and making a sound, your first sounds on your instrument. To do this, we're going to start with the reed by itself. It is already soaked up and is ready to go. If the reed is too dry, it will not vibrate well and it will be very difficult to get a sound out. So what we're going to start with is talking about the shape of our face when we're playing. The oboe reed um, needs pressure, equal pressure from all sides to vibrate well. So imagine a drawstring bag, and if you pull those drawstrings, everything's going to close up in a circle. So that's kind of how it is with the oboe. All of the muscles are moving inward and forward to form that embouchure. So without the reed, our embouchure kind of looks like this. So everything's coming in and forward. So when we use the reed to uh, place it for the embouchure, we're going to place it on the very center of our lower lip, right here, and we're going to place our lower lip barely over our lower teeth. We're going to bring our upper lip to our lower lip around the reed and below. a little bit and that's very normal. Your body will adjust and get used to that and the dizziness will go away after several weeks of playing. Um, a couple of things to note. I have the least amount of reed possible inside my mouth to vibrate. If you have too much reed, you're going to get that crowing sound. And we use that to see if the reed is good, but that's not how we want to play the oboe. That would make some very crazy sounds on the instrument itself. So again, the least amount of reed possible inside the lips. Corners are forward and the pressure is coming around all sides and then just blow. And when we put that together with the instruments, first we'll put on our neck strap to protect our wrists. Very carefully place the reed inside the instrument. And we're going to start with just one finger. You want to make sure you have your neck strap the right length so that you just get as little reed as possible in your mouth. The same shape. That is uh, the embouchure of the oboe reed. Now there are a couple of things that you want to try to avoid, and one of them is putting too much lip inside your mouth. And it doesn't make a very nice sound. Um, having too, uh, having the inside or the right, the wet part of your lip showing. mouth just too loose in general. Okay, so what we're looking for is firm pressure from all sides, fast air stream, and lots of good sound. And that's all there is to forming the embouchure. If you want to take it one step further, we can talk about articulation, and that's when our tongue touches the reed, and what happens for that is my tongue comes up and touches the very corner of the reed. Okay, I try to touch as little of the reed as possible to stop the vibration. very lightly touch 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 inside the mouth the airstream keeps going the air doesn't know that your tongue is touching the reed it's a secret um, so your air just keeps going on through and your tongue just very lightly touches the reed okay and that is forming the embouchure and articulation in a nutshell